All right, boys. Co-main event time. Going down UFC 297 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada at the no- at the Scotiabank Arena. Co-main event for the women's bantamweight title. A vacant belt after the great Amanda Nunes retired and vacated. And now we have Raquel Pennington versus Myra Bueno Silva for the vacant bantamweight belt. Here we go. Raquel Rocky Pennington, 35 years old, fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, USA. 15 and 8 as a pro. 10 of those 15 wins have come by way of judges thinking she won those fights. She's riding a five fight win streak coming in to this Saturday night title fight. Most recently, defeating Ketlin Vieira by split decision back in January of 2023. So almost exactly a year to the day for Rocky. She'll be challenging for the vacant belt against the rising star, Myra Bueno Silva. Shitara is her nickname. 32 years old, out of Brazil. Her record stands at 10 wins, two defeats, one draw, and one no contest. Of her 10 victories, seven have come by way of tap out. She hasn't lost a fight since her fight against Manon Fior back in October of 2021. Since then, she has won three of her last four, with the last one being a no contest against Holly Holm, which was overturned. I believe she uh, did not a guillotine choke, but a ninja choke. Ninja choke against Holly Holm back in July of 2023. Why was that overturned again? Was that a was it a substance? It was like uh, Adderall. It was Adderall, shit, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was some bullshit. Yeah, that's it was bullshit. bullshit. It was bullshit. Yeah. That's stupid. Which is why she's still getting this title shot. Yes, yeah. that's true. Maybe also partly why USADA is gone? Because that's stupid. Yeah. I always hated that nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's just not common sense. Like, come on. Like, case by case a little bit. That's it was so the same stupid. thing for it's me just with Adderall. It was honestly, it was the same thing for me with Chad Mendez. Chad Mendez has probably some of the worst case of psoriasis I've ever seen. Um, and he has to take steroid creams for that shit. Sure. And he popped way back when for those creams. So yep. that to me was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I'll tell you, Chad Mendez, he's using some kind of creams now, man. <laughs> well, shit. Yeah. I don't think he's putting on his skin no more. I think he's fucking ingesting it now. But yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Um, all right. Here we go. Right, uh, I'll picking, go first. I'll go first. Um, I don't have much to say about this one. I imagine that uh, if I had to guess, I like going before Mark because I like wondering aloud about who the favorite might be. I bet you Bueno Silva's the favorite. I'd imagine That's my so. guess. Yeah, you are correct. Would you like me uh, to share? Yes, please share now. Share them early. Bueno Silva is minus 175. Raquel is plus 140. Okay, I don't have much to say. Wait, say those numbers again. Minus one seventy five, and plus one forty for Raquel. So those are not super wide, right? No, that's fairly close. Yeah. yeah. I feel like uh, I'm making a dumb pick here because Buena Silva. Um, she's not she's not super young, but I feel like she's a somewhat of a of a rising, young younger young ish star in the division. Um, and she's dangerous too, but I'm going with the field pick guys. And I'm going with the feel good pick. And I'm going to take Raquel Pennington to capture UFC gold, especially now that the lioness is not perched atop this division. I mean, how long was Amanda Nunes, the champ of the women's bantamweight division? Like I felt like a decade <laughs> for a while, quite some time. Yeah. yeah. So this is this this is Raquel's probably her last shot. She's 35. Uh has she challenged for the belt before? Yes. Please yeah. tell me I'm right. Tell yeah. Me that. Yeah. Yeah. Twice before. It's her last shot. She? I hope she fights her fucking heart out and she goes home with the belt. Give me Raquel Pennington after five rounds. I'll say she, she gets it done by decision. Mark. 
All right, so as I said, minus 175 for Bueno Silva, plus 140 for Raquel. Um, Raquel is one inch taller and has one inch of reach on her side of things. Um, I am with you, and I feel weird about it, because it seems like the whole world is very bought into Myra Bueno Silva, more than I understand. Um it just seems like everyone's ready to hop on this bandwagon as if she is some dominant fighter. And I don't feel like I've necessarily seen that from her. Um, I mean, I get it why people are picking her. She's younger. She's like, you know, more in her prime, you might say. She's finishing girls. But, A, are are we picking Raquel Pennington to get submitted? It's happened once in her entire career. And it was at the hands of Kat Zingano in Invicta in 2012. So she has gone 13 years without being submitted since that time. That That is a long time. Or sorry, uh, 11 years. Can't do math. Um, but you get my point. Yep. Um, so yeah, that that's... Trusting Silva to tap her is, is maybe asking a lot. And it's not like Silva has been tapping you know great grapplers on, on this run. It's been... Stephanie Edgar and Lena Landsberg and Holly Holm. It's it's a lot of people who don't want to be grappling necessarily. Now, granted, she did get Jillian Robertson back in 2018, which is a pretty good one. But there are now 20 pounds of weight between those two girls in terms of the divisions they actually ended up in. So I don't know if I see her getting Raquel. And I don't mean to make it seem like that's her only avenue because she can strike Buenos Silva as well. She actually had some good <coughs> moments striking against Manon Fior. But... I make this point all the time when we talk about Raquel. It's that Raquel excels at winning fights. Like, it, it sounds silly to put it that way, but she is just so good at understanding what needs to be done for her to win rounds, understanding what she needs to lean on to find a small advantage that's going to edge out a fight. And it, it's going to be tough for her to do that across 25 minutes. It's definitely easier for Raquel to play that game across 15 and, you know, make sure she wins two of these three rounds and then it has to go her way. But I'm still going to take her to get this done. I just, like I said, for whatever reason, I just, I can't get myself sold on Myra Bueno Silva being like this dominant figure. So I'm going to go Raquel and I'm, I'm going to say it gets clearer as the fight goes on and she wins a, a decision. Okay. Omar. Yeah, this is, this is a rough one, man. Um, you know, I, I get the point about Buena Silva. I think I think the problem with it though is I I just I can see this being a fight where Buena Silva wants to work for a submission, wants to take things down. And I just hope that Pennington doesn't get stuck in a position where she finds herself trying to defend a takedown potentially defending uh, submissions as well and not fighting her fight. Um, I can see that. Ha I see that. that I see a world where that is a possibility. I'd like to think that Pennington can find the openings uh, against Buena Silva. The thing that also gets me about this fight though, is that Pennington has seemingly found difficulty against girls who are significantly more athletic than her. Um, and you can see it in a lot of these higher level women like, um, like Holly Holm, right? Like Amanda Nunes, which is almost unfair to fucking say, but Amanda Nunes, Jermaine Randomé, right? Um, there's just a level of, of athleticism that a lot of these women have that Raquel doesn't. And you can see even in the way that Raquel moves and things like that, Raquel is a very cerebral fighter, very smart in there, very much knows what's going on and what she's doing in there at all times. Um, but Buena Silva is, I think will be the more athletic fighter in there. And yeah. I just don't, I think Pennington's going to have some trouble in there adjusting to it. I want Pennington to win. I would love to finally see Rocky get gold after all these years, after all of this. I just think that Buena Silva is going to edge it out. And I think Buena Silva will end up being the champ. So I will go with Buena Silva here by decision. Okay. Fair. Somebody had to do it. I hate it. Yeah, for man. The record. I know. We're, I, the whole world's going to be rooting for Pennington. Yeah, and I want Pennington win. to win. I will oh, take we'll this all be loss. So happy. Happily. Yeah. Yeah. 